The Messages app keeps you in touch with everyone you know, so it shouldn't be a big surprise that it's probably the app you use most. Apple's shortcuts and gestures built into Messages make it quicker to chat, and once you figure out how to use them, are very useful. Today on Ellen's Tips for iOS, we'll be talking about some of my favorite shortcuts and gestures inside of Messages. Let's get started. Tip number one, poll to search. Once inside your um, the Messages app, once you're inside, if you just gently pull down on the screen, you'll see that the spotlight search appears. And if I tap into that, immediately I'll get some feedback from what's inside of my messages. If I type for something specific, so if I type dog, you'll see that anything that's related to a dog is going to show up in that search area below. And so this is a great way to search inside of your text messages. Tip number two, swipe back. So if I come into a message and uh, I want to get back to the messages inbox, I can just swipe from the edge of the screen over and that will bring me right back in to the text messages inbox. Tip number three, timestamps. Suppose you want to know exactly what time a message uh, was received. Well, once you come into the messages uh, area, if you just pull on the screen to the right, so put your finger on the screen and then pull to the right, and you'll see the exact timestamp that that message arrived on your phone. Tip number four, reaction tap back. You can quickly react to a message by pressing and holding on that message, and you'll see that above the message, your tap backs uh, appear. And so you can choose a heart, thumbs up, thumbs down, ha ha, uh, exclamation point, and question mark. So if you want to react, you just tap on one of those reaction tap backs and it will be sent to the recipient. Tip number five, hold to copy a message. Well, we've already held down on the message, and you can see that below the message, some other options appear. The, the tap back reactions are on the top, but below that, we could choose to copy this message and then paste it into another message that we want to send to somebody else. Or we can tap on more, and we have the option to select several messages that we can then either forward on to someone else, or we can delete them. Tip number six, save images. So it used to be that you had to push and hold on an image and then tap on save to save it to your photos Apple. Now Apple has made it much easier. All you need to do is hit the little blue icon on the right side of the photo and that photo will be saved to your photos library. Tip number seven, stacked images in messages. So if you receive a bunch of photos that look like this, little cards stacked on top of each other, to view them individually, just go ahead and tap on the image. It'll come to full screen and you can scroll through each of those photos individually to look at them. If you decide that you want to download one of those images, tap on the download arrow in the lower right corner and that image will be added to your photo library. If you decide that you'd like to download all of those images, just tap on the download arrow next to the stack of images and all of those images will be added to the library. Tip number eight, audio messages. So inside of the message area, you'll see a little sound bite icon right here. If you push and hold on that icon and start talking, you're now recording an audio message for the individual. When you're finished, go ahead and let go. And now you have the option to send that, record more by tapping the record icon again, or hitting the little X on the left side of the message, and that will erase that message. Tip number nine, delete conversations. If you want to delete a conversation, all you need to do is place your finger on that conversation and swipe to the left, and you'll see that the trash can icon appears. Tap on delete, and any messages that you've received from that individual up to this point will be deleted but you'll be able to continue to receive new messages when they send them. Tip number 10, hide the keyboard. If you want to see more of a message while typing, 
tap outside the message area, and then kind of pull down on the keyboard. And you'll be able to see more of the message that you're responding to. When you're ready to continue typing, just tap back into the message area and continue typing your message. Tip number 11, quickly pull up a contact. If you push and hold on a uh, the profile picture of any one of your contacts, if I push and hold, you'll see that some options appear. But if I want to get a more detailed view of that contact, if I just tap on the contact's name, it's going to take me into their detailed view in my contacts list. Tip number 12, add an effect. Effects in messaging allow you to send your message with confetti, laser, fireworks, and a few others. To add an effect, type in the message that you want to send, push and hold on the send arrow, and you'll come into the effects area. You have a choice to send a bubble effect or a screen effect. So if I choose bubble, I can go through the options by tapping on the little dot next to them, and it will show you what that effect will look like. And then when you're ready, you would tap on the blue arrow. So that's bubble effects. If I wanted to send a screen effect, I would just tap on the screen and you'll see along the bottom, there's little dots. So if I scroll pulling the screen to the right, there's the spotlight. I scroll again, you can choose balloons, confetti, hearts, lasers, fireworks. And so those are all of the different effects that you can send in your messages. Hopefully I've added plenty of new message tips to your repertoire. If I've missed any, go ahead and add them in the comments area below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.